guys, John from Surf FX, and we're having a look at something we've been waiting for for quite a while. Finally got some, actually we've had them through twice, but all our orders have been sold before they arrived. So now we get to finally have one to play with. Uh, that's the new Duotone Slick Wing. So this wing is the newest. It's, you're looking at basically the third generation of wings from Duotone now, so there's a lot of improvements, a lot of changes in this. So what you've got is you've got a boom set up, similar to the first one and what they've done with the Echo, but it's only a short boom, it's a fixed length boom, same boom length for all sizes of wings, which is pretty handy. And having it fixed length and not full length means it floats, for starters, and having the inflated uh, strut along the edge also gives a much better canopy shape. So pretty cool setup, but as a bonus with the boom, you have that infinite level of grip to you know, put your hands. It's something that we found that going, if you're used to one of the boom and you go to without, I mean like, with the boom you can ride one-handed comfortably. So something is really not that easy to do when you've got handles, so pretty cool. Weight-wise, not heavy. This is the alloy setup here, but if you want to get a really light, they do have a carbon boom as well. Shaves, I didn't think it was going to be this much, but it shaves about a third of the weight off, so really quite light. So uh, it's in stiffness, yeah, it's carbon, a bit stiffer. Different shape. The carbon is round, the alloy is an oval shape. So, I mean, to keep the, the you know, oh, the uh, oval shape keeps a little bit stiffer than the round in the alloy, but carbon being stiffer, you don't need it. So pretty cool. Now, the way to attach it, it just Velcros into the top and slits into a little pocket on the bottom. And then once you, as you blow the kite up, the tension keeps it locked in there so it's nice and solid. Now you can really see this kite is quite square. So they wanted to reduce the length of the kite. Not much of a problem when there's someone like me who's you know well over six feet. But if you're not, uh, like my mate Greg, um, you know you drag your wingtips in the water quite a bit. So having that squared, squared off wingtip really kind of helps that the kite not touch the water. So it gives you a lot more room. Gives it a lot more maneuverability. So you can. So when you spin it around on your jibes, you know, you're not dragging the wingtip through the water because, you know, if you're doing this and you're watching this so far, you know that if your wingtip touches, there's a good chance you kind of get pulled over it. So, not ideal. So, refinements in this really came from, and it's going to be upside down because I can't flip it, but the shape of the kite here. So, they played a lot with how flat they could have it, how much V they could have in it, and they wanted to get really neutral. So, when you hold it by that front handle, going downwind or on a wave that it just can really just sit there behind you and not bounce left and right and twisting around. And you know, little bonus, they have a nice little padded area there on the leading edge of the kite so when you are holding it, you're not ripping your knuckles apart. Pretty handy. So that's pretty cool when they did that. Now, when you ride downwind, the kite can, the canopy can flutter quite a bit. So that's the other thing they did. Obviously, the windsurfing kite boarding company has got all the experience in this area. So they worked on the profile and tension in the canopy itself. So having some tension in the canopy keeps it from flapping, holds its shape as you get more and more power in it. So now we've got guys doing a lot of speed runs and just chasing extra, extra, every little bit of speed they can get out of their gear. Having uh, the, the draft, so where the wind and the power sits stable, keeps you from getting bounced around and becoming unstable within just the field. Having these little battens helps reduce the, the flutter you get on the trailing edge. Also, when it's really loaded, keeps that trailing edge flat instead of scooping over. Because if it, you know, if the if the canopy scooped at the back, it's going to almost like want to pull it backwards instead of keep driving it forward where you've got the where you have the draft up the front normally. Pretty cool how they did that a little little bit of design tweak with the scallop trailing edge again to help with the flat and to help in the top end. Now, a little bit of change in the windows from the previous models. They're a little bit more in line with where you are and when you have the, when you've got the wing obviously higher above your head or a bit lower, so they kind of follow you. Having a longer window this way kind of, you know, doesn't work as well. So having a little bit of length that way is great. And it also helps packing it up. So folding it up, you know, you fold up kind of to the edge of the window, fold the leading edge in a little bit, then roll nice and handy so that you're not folding through the window.